Where's the... Okay, so... Oh. Oh, there is a pop cap on to Brad Nah. It's 57. Interesting. I wonder if that ever gets bigger. I certainly hope so. Why are they not working on the castle? Do they only work on the castle if I'm near it? Because that kind of sucks. By Jove, we've done it! You have? How about this then, dude? We've built an entire castle for you, and we've done it all by ourselves. Look upon our tall towering walls, and even the beginnings of a second story! And what's more, we've laid rich red carpet to make our future throne room even more majestic. Fine work if I do say so myself. can't tell you how happy I am to see the castle completed. It's almost overwhelming to see our hard work finally pay off. God, Zooks, until this moment, I had no idea what a brilliant builder I am. My capabilities are almost frightening. We built this castle in your honor, dude. It is yours to do with as you please, my lamb. Now that the castle is finally complete, we'd all be honored if you would join us on a brief tour of it. God, Zooks and us, Anessa, must we really? I'm a little nervous at the idea of a, of, uh, of a builder of dudes renowned scrutinizing my handiwork. Well, I'm not nervous, not one bit. I know for a fact that dude will be moved to tears by the quality of our work. Come, let us not waste any more idle ch uh, uh, any more time on idle chit chat. Let the tour begin. That's why they're not working on this. I guess I, they had to show me their empty husk of a castle. They all seem to have an awfully high opinion of their work. Something tells me this isn't going to go as well as they expect. Come, dude. We all stand ready to show you the fruits of our labor. Pray speak with us and be inspired. I mean, you got some nice walls, but doors? Are they both singing? Step right up and feast your eyes. Here's the room that we have made. We think you'll soon realize we deserve an accolade. The stylish open plan design makes it light and bright and airy. Just one look and you will find that it's very, very nice. Um, is this a joke? That wall is, so, is full of so many holes, it's more like a row of pillars. You can hardly call this place a castle when monsters can just waltz in and out as they please. Bad zooks, Lady, Lu Lady Lulu. You wound me. And after all the hard work we put into it. Unbelievable. Do they actually think that this castle's finished, or do they just give up halfway through? Look at these wonderful rooms we made, dude. Um, aren't they a little on the small side? Are they supposed to be pens for pigs? Goddess have mercy, of course not, my child. Do you not see why the design of these rooms is so truly remarkable? The crowding together into these tiny chambers when we go to bed, we can keep each other warm through the wintry nights. Uh, we have a pop cap on this island, you know, like that's a problem. And that's not all. These neat, narrow rooms can double as a crypt. Just think of how many bodies could be laid to rest in here. You were supposed to be building a castle, not a mausoleum, or a snuggle chamber. Honestly, how can they say that they've finished building this castle? It's a complete, no it's complete and utter nonsense. Ah, I told you this wasn't going to go well. We still have the second story to look at. Let's get this over with, shall we? Get out of here, Fluffy. <laughs> ah, dude. I see you've completed the tour of the ground floor. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, so, my boy. What do you think of the staircase you just climbed, hmm? <laughs> it's some stairs, all right. I labored over it a great deal, making sure I got it just right. I propose we call it the Great Staircase of Jeremiah. You want to name that thing after yourself? Only half of the stupid thing has steps on it! 
There's a landing halfway up it. It's the worst staircase I've ever seen in my life. Which, Kevin, I have a bad back. The landing is there in case I need to take a break during the climb. Dude, Lady Lulu, perhaps it's not the most expertly constructed example, but if you would be so kind as to look at the throne room I have made for you. Throne room? Wait, surely you're not talking about this place, are you? All you've done is throw down a red carpet and a few purple tiles. There's nothing about it that's even remotely royal. All right, everyone, I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to give me an honest answer. Do you really think that this castle is finished? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Lulu. We tried so hard, but this this is the best we could do. And we already told you to leave everything to us. We couldn't bring ourselves to admit that our building skills weren't up to par. Bad zoops, man. We're just not good enough. We're not like you, dude. We're third-rate builders at best. If you needed dude's help, you should have just said so from the start. You may have not have completed the castle, but you've certainly managed to lay the foundations for something splendid. All we need to do is let dude loose on the framework, and we'll have the whole thing finished in no time. Oh, thank you, Lady Lulu. It's such a relief to know that our efforts are not completely without merit. We shall see our hard work bear fruit after all. Well, that's one crisis averted. I wonder where Malroth is now. I would love for him to see this ridiculous castle. You know, I just realized Fire Emblem Builders would actually be pretty dang fun, too. Like, put all the voxels down and then have characters fight on the tiles? I don't know, it'd be cool. Anyway. Hear me, Malroth, O mighty master of destruction. Ah. Without con creation, there can be no destruction. And in a world without creation, the master of destruction cannot awaken. This is a good opportunity for me to drink a, uh, drink some water because holy crap, this dialogue does not move fast. Okay, next line, I'm going to try and read it at the pace they want me to. This is why. Oh no, I summoned you to this, uh, that child to this world. I did not pr predict that you would meet, that you would enter a fellow into a fellowship, but it seems he had his effect nonetheless. Oh, God. Man, I should just start adding dialogue here, some just ad-lib shit after it. But I have to admit, you looked pretty cute together, all in all. Shame I'm going to have to tear you apart like this. The end of the world approaches, but it's up to you to deliver the final blow. To his self to seem. And or tender tushy, if you know what I mean. He made a golden bedroom just for you. There's even a throne. It's the only way to achieve salvation, and the only way to satisfy your desires as the Lord and Master of Destruction. I honestly can't really add dialogue without, without it making it mildly homoerotic. It's bad. It's not even mildly. It's just straight up. I still ship... The Builder and, and Malroth here. They're cute. Who... Who are you? I am the creator of this illusory world. Your most faithful servant. And your dearest friend. I'm also very jealous of your relationship with, me, with him. Like, <laughs> wait, homoerotic, did I just mishear him wanted to say that? I was talking about Melroth and, and the Builder having relations. 
Even as we speak, the Builder fills this world with the power of creation. It is nearly time. Time for you to realize your true potential as the Master of Destruction. There's a long way to go until our castle is complete, but we shall have to start somewhere. Every castle needs a throne room, so let's begin there. Vanessa's already set up a space, so let's use that as the foundation for our new audience chamber. You were to complete the throne room? Then take this. His Majesty gave it to me when we set sail for Moonbrook. It was once the throne of the Princess of Moonbrook. His Majesty wanted you to have it, and thanks for all you've done for us. Although, it is strange, I never knew that he had, that the King had a daughter. Let me tell you one thing that would make this place cooler. Digs for the Queen or King a bedroom for the ruler. No, uh, uh, according to everybody, no one likes listening to him. His regular voice is, is very lilty, but the moment he starts singing, boy, does it go into swamp voice. Yes, good point. We'll also need a royal bedchamber. But first of all, dude, pray repair that disfigured throne and turn it into a throne for the throne room. And I suggest you add four bold banners, two braziers, to make the place look even more majestic. And then you can turn your attentions to the sleeping arrangements. Just put a king-sized bed, a fireplace, a fancy chair, a li fancy light source, and a residence line in a room, and voila! You'll have yourself a bright royal bedchamber. <laughs> and be sure to build the throne room and the royal bedchamber next, right next to each other. No ruler in their right mind wants to trudge across the castle when it's time for bed. The materials you chose for the walls and doors are entirely at your discretion. Well then, we know what we have to do to finish the castle. We need to build a throne room and a royal bedchamber. Wait. Who's the what who? Oh, that that's Babs. Yeah, it's Babs. You can also make a princess sized bed. I can make this castle out of anything I want. <laughs> I gotta go get me some cotton. I think we need to make another farm, maybe. Well, at least it looks like all the sheep are hanging out where I need them to. How do I get wool off the sheep? No, you certainly don't stroke it. You certainly don't hit it with your sword. Yeah, I could try gloves. Nope. Wool drop li drops like eggs. That's confusing. I mean, not actually that confusing. It's a little confusing. But yes, you did hear Shell yelp in the background. She's actually hanging out next to me. Oh wait, I guess there's no reason for me to do this yet. Because I don't have any more wheatgrass. And I'm gonna have to go to like another island to get more. Yeah, let's just tear all this up. Hmm. 
Well, considering I can I can easily grow cotton myself at this point. What I should do is probably go back to go back to this. I'm just going to start replacing some of this ground with just regular dirt. I mean, pretty much all of this. I'm going to turn this entire back section. Section. Hopefully this is still considered part of the town. If it's not, I'm going to be mildly upset here. Happier the sheep are, the more wool they drop. I mean, I also just got them, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's a little while before uh, before they start dropping wool. Okay, but I'm gonna turn this entire like back section here into one long giant farm, probably. Oh, uh, we should probably go down to the res residence register for a second. I'm gonna get rid of uh, Fluffy. I don't need him right now. Heck, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I don't even need uh, the Cosmic Chimera, but I'm gonna keep him around just because he is actually really convenient for getting around. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Bash up that. Perfect. What we want to do is... Oh. There's picket fencing I can do. Cool. I really wish these things would stop uh, getting added to my inventory. But no, the reason... Uh, I should probably go back to this. The reason why I was laughing about the... Um, Well, you know what? Do I want to just have this whole giant thing be farm? Go big, go home? Go big, go home. Uh, let's go big or go home. Uh, let's see. So what do we do? I'll be here again. I'll I'll be moving my light sources. For sure. Eh. Let's see, we might as well fill in this entire section. Now, do we want to do... Do I want to have irrigation? Because I do... I could do irrigation. Probably have a lot of seeds from the islands. Yeah, I do. Fortunately, I don't have a whole lot of grass seeds to pull from here. Ish. Anyway, so we're, we're just going to have this entire, like, back half here be some, like, giant super field. We'll still have to, like, come back and add grass to all of it, but that's okay. I might split it up into a couple of different fields. Uh, that might even make the most amount of sense. To have, like, a, a functional mega field, but split up per crop. So one scarecrow per per crop, just space it out properly, maybe? Not really sure. Can you do water under the field for irrigation? 
Uh, you know, I've never tried that. I, I don't actually know. It'd be interesting to try. Let's see. Retrospect, we want to go grab... Grassy Earth. Have a whole bunch of this. Because I want this to all be green grass and so on and so forth. Okay, that, that's going to look much better. One needs to make a hot spring first to pour the hot water into. I, yeah. I really do. Because that's actually something I don't have. Uh, you know what? I'm going to warp out of here for a second. We're going to go grab a couple of grass seeds. Let's use the transform tool. I don't want to use the transform tool because it's going to spread grass to where I don't need it to. And that'd be wasteful. Because I'm, I'm very quickly going to be replacing it with... Uh, well, I, I'm going to have... Uh, what's his face? Uh, Wrigley. Destroy everything anyway? Okay, so where are they? There they are. I have a couple of terraformer, terraforma tiles. I should probably start using them. But yeah, so we've got we've got these uh, mud mud hands, which, as far as I know, canonically are called mimics. Normally they drop grass seeds, but those didn't. I wish I could have, like, a monster farm of those guys and had have, have them, like, consistently drop their... Like, have them drop their grass seeds. Worm food is better than grass seeds. But you make worm food out of grass seeds! Okay. Unfortunately, this place makes everything kind of super laggy. We, we, my, yeah, what we might want to do is just find the uh, the original islands uh, where all the bodkins are, and then just go bananas. Let's see. Just go bananas on them with with Fluffy or something. Okay, so we're getting a couple. I need a lot more than that. You can always trial down a bunch of swampy soil to get them to spawn. But no way to auto farm them. Yeah. It might it might be worth getting like a, a muck pit for a bunch of these guys. So they only spawn on corrupted ground. That's actually useful information to work with. Looks like the scorpions spawn either anywhere on the, the arid ground, but I need the hands. Oh, but yeah, this would probably be easier with Bodkin Archers. Like, much easier. Just killing them in a very, very large quantity. Well, whatever. Don't care right now. We're just gonna go back to Green Gardens. I'm gonna get the rest out. A pit full of corrupted ground, spike traps on top. Instant corrupted uh, farm. It might work. We could mess around with that later. Oh, I can also make a nun's. Amusing. 
I don't actually really care for either of these, but it's kind of nice to have that as a costume. Uh, but, 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 but. I'm not too interested in most of these. That's the wrong button. Okay, just tried the water under the fields. It doesn't work. Shame. Use the truth mirror on a dog from the first island. Ah. Oh. Hey, these guys probably just spawn in on arid ground. Okay, but yeah, so we're gonna fill this in. I really wish you could actually use the transformer trowel to place large swaths of blocks as well. I'm actually really surprised that you can't do that. Because it'd be really nice if I could just, like, layer a whole bunch of these blocks, like, right here. Okay, do we go... Do we keep this dip here? Yeah, we could do that. I'll, like, dip it out for a bit. There's no reason why we need to just make this, like, a, a flat... Just totally regular strip. Let's see. We'll put this here. Wreck that. Wish L2 mode was place floor mode instead of place wall but lower. Yeah. I'm kind of confu uh, confused why why they did it as such, but you know what? I don't know. It doesn't matter that, that much in the grand scheme of things. It just would have been nicer. Uh, let's see. Do I want to... I'll have a division here. I might expand the uh, the fields further, but we'll we'll see. Not sure if I need to do that, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I do have a bunch of wooden stairs sitting around, yeah? I should. Yeah, I've got tons. A little wasteful to use some of my farmland space for stairs, but I think it'll look better this way. Okay, so this should all be connected. We'll add the rest of this later. Considering how easy this stuff is to come by, I just need to put the time into it. I'm just going to plonk this down here for some level of visual design. Eh. Not sure if I'm a big fan of this necessarily. Oh well, stairs. What's the other thing I could mess around with? Chisel? Interdasting. Huh. 
I'm not sure I think about that. It's interesting for sure. It'll make some interesting heals. I wish it would do like proper corners and stuff, but whatever. For now, it's good enough. Uh, it's, let's start plunking down um, scarecrows. No, 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 no. Inventory. Uh, freaking Grim Reaper, man. Going for my chickens. Yeah, it's, it just is going to kill my chickens in there. That, that freaking sucks. Hold A or use up or down. Oh, for corners and half blocks. Okay. Well, the chicken gave birth to a baby out of sheer panic, I think. So... And also, sheeps gave birth to a baby. Well, that solves some of my my animal problems? Question mark. I mean, it's kind of grim. Oops. Do not know where the little sheep is. But where? That's a cat. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's shove him around a little bit and and strike the babby. We'll definitely have to go get some more wheat grass at some point. And what I might do is extend this field so it's like a multi-slope thing. We'll see. Okay. Uh first and foremost though. We need a lot more light sources in here because apparently freaking Grim Reaper is just going to show up and... and... Hmm. There's got to be something better though. Because what I want are like really light light sources. Oh. I've got some options. Uh, let's switch to lighting. Okay, so we've got candles, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. We've got the little slime lights, which are kind of cute. I was actually thinking light boxes might not be a terrible idea. Let's get like 50 or so. And then I'm actually gonna get like a similar amount of candles. Because candles might not look bad. I don't like the look of the torches. The torches look kind of shitty. Like, they're worth it, but there's got to be something nicer looking. Okay. What? Can I seriously still not plant any of these things? I planted a banabra amount of leeks in here. And it's... Ugh. Okay, so first and foremost, let's just check a candle. I'm gonna go with the candles here at least. This is the only spot that I need to worry about it. So if the villagers harvest it, it doesn't count. So they don't know how to plant it, but they can just harvest it anyway. Weird. So I'm just gonna split these up into kind of subfields. One or two of them might get a little bit larger, but this should be good. Okay. 
Might as well destroy these. Long fence posts down. So hopefully somebody will be along to fence some of the uh, fence some of the stuff off later. Is it the same spot? I think it is. This looks reasonable enough, and we can put some proper like lighting down. <laughs> put in some sexy night lights. Ah. That'd be really amusing. Okay, so we got a we got a couple of cheapies floating around. Good. Drone yet? No. So yeah, I pretty much have to wait for these crops to properly grow. Otherwise, my NPCs are just gonna harvest them. Well. I mean, it's not the it's not the end of the world. I'd like to automate the fields, but uh, not that important. Okay, so one way or another, the cotton's going to take a little while, but we've at least secured a cotton supply for some amount of time. So at some point, we'll come back when these crops are properly grown and people aren't busy. I guess what I could do. We could just exile every human being from here. Oh, you can store the scarecrows to protect the crops from harvest. That is, that's valid and useful. We're, I'll let them keep working on the wheat. Okay. We'll just have to remember to come back and do this later. Okay. So we still end up with a lot of potential crops, but this will work all in all. Okay. So I'm just going to head back to the Cerulean Step. I'm not going to be able to do what I need, but... Or I'm not going to be able to have all the blocks that I need. But to show my, I'm not going to say general disrespect, that's a lot of cis snares, that's an issue. Okay. Uh, general disrespect for the NPCs of this game of, of Moonbrook. It's very tempting to make, uh, let's see, I've got a decent chunk of cotton, 320, that might not be enough. It's really tempting for me to make the, uh, the entirety of the uh, throne room out of carpet uh, and all the floors out of walls. We can also just make it out of really stupid stuff. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what other... What is the... Well, I think I've done it. I think I know exactly what I'm going to make this entire area out of. No, not. Oh, I need more iron ingots. Whoops. Well, we're going to get more, but that's fine. Okay. Luckily, I'm producing a lot of these. Wonder what's wrong with Moonbrook? Uh, the, the people there, uh, through Malroth and, well, they were mean to Malroth, so justice must, must happen. Okay. Welcome to the throne room. And I finished the castle, sure. Was it the fact that they're an awful soap opera and put your partner in jail? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna have to redo the corners appropriately, but that's that's fine. Bring justice for Balroth. Fix castle. 
the way that it should be. It should have always been. I, I don't think there's anything more poetic than this. Valoroth just comes back and is like, wait, did you did you literally just replace the castle with with prison walls? And dude looks at him and just nods very slowly. And then they high five. Okay. What do I have? Well, I can make an infinite amount of flagstone now. So will we wait for some more things to roll in? Top floor is too big to be a single room. They really do that. They really did that, didn't they? Alright, whatever. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually super bothered that, I'm super bothered that they did the whole, like, uh, Malroth is, like, he's too intense for us, throw him in jail. Cause, like, the dude was nothing but helpful. Yeah, unnerving, but, like, out of every single person there... Dude Melroth should have been absolutely, you know, beyond reproach. And chucking, chucking him in jail was just like such a... I'm gonna say like an, such an uncalled for activity thing. And I realized that they were like, oh, yeah, we're sorry, but it's just like, I don't know. Like, I get it. Malroth is, like, unnerving. But they, apart from the, the mirror thing and some other stuff, like... Unilaterally deciding that, you know, they were going to throw him, throw him in prison. And then expecting Dude to be fine with that was just wrong. Like, if two best friends roll in and one is, like, the... Strongest fighter you've ever seen. Yeah, sure, he's a berserker, but whatever. And the other one is like, you know, the straight up builder that's going to, uh, that's straight up going to save your, your kingdom. You don't throw one of the two in jail and expect that, like, the other isn't going to be very upset about it. And, like, I, I know that it, they did that for entire, entirely for plot reasons, but it's still, like, it's still shitty, and, like, I'm I'm actually mad that the Builder didn't react to that, apart from being kind of sad about it. And, obviously, like, I did my best to try and, uh... To try and rebel, and so on and so forth. But, like, I... My favorite thing in books and movies and so on and so forth is when like they push the good character too far and the good character like snaps and and does like the you know the I built this I can tear it all down or you know effectively that and uh and the fact that we didn't have any such uh reaction we just kind of went along with it it's like Yeah, if this were an Obsidian game, you could have gotten him out. Yep. And I realized that it's not. It's a linear game. You know, they, they shouldn't be expected to do that sort of thing. But it still leaves me being kind of, uh, being kind of grumpy.